Hi everyone! So this is the very beginning of our musical journey of the violin. So I'm so excited right now and uh, this is my home office. Uh, I give a lesson here and then I practice here. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the parts of the violin before we talk about how to hold the violin, okay? So this like head part called scroll because this part looks like the shape is a scroll, you know? Yeah, so it's a scroll and then we have four packs related to each four strings and then when you look at it uh close then the thickest one is a g string and the next is a d string and then a string and the thinnest one is e string yeah so we can tune with this pack uh here G string and then D string pack is right at the back there and then A string pack is right there and then E string is right here and then also uh, you can tune the strings with the pecs and here's a fine tuner small stuff uh, we can tune with this fine tuner too, but the fine tuner cannot uh, change the range of the tune that much. Very sensitively move. So big movement of tuning we do with the packs, and then like small sensitive movement for tuning is fine tuner. Okay. So we put our left hand right here. This called a violin neck and violin shoulder and then violin ribs and let's stop talking about the human body because we don't want to call this part right because we're we going to put our head right there so we don't want to call that anymore so stop at the ribs okay so scroll four packs violin neck so we are going to put our left hand, left fingertips on it and then violin shoulder, ribs, okay? And then this, the black part that we are going to put drop fingers right there is fingerboard. And then here is the hole and it looks like an alphabet lowercase f. So these holes called the uh, f holes. And then here's a little wood piece called a bridge. So that support the string. Okay. And then this called the uh, tail piece. Next, let's talk about the chin rest right here. So your chin will go on it. And this is called chin rest. I think the name is important because your chin should take a rest there. That means your chin should feel comfortable with it. And same as chin rest, here is the shoulder rest. I use the brand uh, Wolf right now. There are a lot of different brand of shoulder rest. So you can explore and then uh, ask other violinists or your friend and or and or you can go to the violin shop and then explore try a uh, different kind of shoulder rest and then find the one uh, best for you so put the violin between your arm and the side belly so you can hold the violin firmly uh, I would put the violin in my left side of my body Okay, and the left hand hold uh, the violin here. And then put the deeper side of the shoulder rest towards the chin rest side. So I would fit one edge to the violin, hold it with the finger, and then the other side can move side to side at this moment really really make sure you don't push from top to bottom you know this is piece of wood you know you don't want to break it so really really make sure you put the shoulder rest side to
to side. Other hand still holding. And then use the finger to put the shoulder rest firmly. That's it.